welcome to the Extermatech Pest Control Game of the Week here on the Montgomery Sports Network, where tonight we are in Wetumpka for a Class 6A Region 3 matchup between the Wetumpka Indians and their longtime rivals, the Mustangs of Sam Hill, Elmore. Playoff implications, along with region title implications, on the line tonight here at Homeburg Field. Before we start off the pregame show and get to the keys of tonight's games, we're going to take a moment here and get a few words from our sponsors. This uh, is 7A perch in the friendly confines of the state of the art press box at Phantom Ball. We're going to get ready to kick it off. Presetti's going to kick it off for Mustangs. Terrence Thomas standing at about his five yard line for Wachunka, along with Brandon Bowman back deep and Malik Davis. And the Exterminator Pest Control game of the week is underway. They're going to pooch it short. And it's caught by one of the linemen, so it's a quick surprise. There's a flag on the play on the far side. Looks like it's going to be offsides against Stanhill Beaumont on the kickoff. But a little trickeration there from Coach Bradford and the Mustangs trying to catch Wetumpka off guard. But a good job recognizing that. And we'll see if they have a re-kick here. Well, uh, calling those trick plays like that, those onside kicks to start off games or start off second halves, you're only going to get credit for it if it works. If it doesn't work, everyone's going to look like, at you and say, what? But uh, he definitely tried it right there, and uh, it almost worked. But it kind of all sides, a little lucky right there to get a re-kick. Head up, head up, heads up play by Aiden Grayson getting on the football, big number 74. Now the line moves in for Watonka, crowding there in the middle as Presetti will line it up again, number 13 for the Mustangs. The good, very good kicker won the game last week against Smith Station, won the last second field goal. This time he's going to kick it deep. And Davis camps under it at the 10-yard line, works towards the middle of the field, sidesteps one defender, has some room across the 30, still going, will cross the 35, and finally driven out of bounds over there near the medical tent, out about the 37-yard line. So a nice return for Wetumpka, although I think they would have rather had the ball in the, at the midfield there on the previous the far catch. side. Looks like Wilson out there with Bradford and Smith. Duncan offset to the right of the formation. They're going to roll the pocket. Reigns is going to take it himself. He'll cut it up past the room inside the five. Driving towards the goal line. He spins his way in, and he's in for the touchdown. Andrew Reigns from 10 yards out, and the Mustangs strike first. Andrew Reigns. I keep saying Reigns. I've run yet Reigns, but Reigns very effective there. 10 yards in the end zone with 3.56 left in the first quarter. Presetti on to attempt the extra point. Good snap and spot. Kick has plenty of distance. And it's dead solid, perfect. And the Mustangs strike first. 3.56 left first quarter. It is Stanhope Elmore 7. We're talking nothing here on the Extermatech Pest Control Game of the Week here on the Montgomery Sports Network. Start this contest as Presetti will kick it off. Davis is back deep for Wetumpka, along with Bowman and Terrence Thomas standing at his five-yard line. So we saw the little push kick, then the deep kick. Here's the deep one again. This one's rolling towards the sideline, and it's going to go out of bounds, and that's definitely not what Coach Bradford wanted here. Uh, it'll be decent field position for Wetumpka to start out. They'll move it out here to the 35-yard line. And going back to that first drive where they took over six minutes of clock and then ended up scoring the touchdown, exactly what you want to do, all on the ground, that puts the Wetumpka defense in a bad situation that they don't want to be in. They really haven't finished all year. They didn't finish last week against Prattville. And if you go up on them in the first quarter, first half, it's going to be hard for them to come back, especially with the way they run their offense in Taekwondo Rawls. Well, this is interesting. It looks like Coach Perry's going to make them re-kick. Not a bad strategy. You just had a team run down the field. they got to run all the way back and do it again. Uh, but I'm sure Coach Perry feels that he can get his playmakers here in space, maybe an opportunity to break one uh, against his Mustang return team with uh, Terrence Thomas back there and Bowman and uh, Malik Davis. He has some guys that have a lot of ability standing back there at about the 15 and 10-yard line. Well, another thing to think about is uh, is that the kicker here has a huge leg, and he might outkick his coverage. The ball doesn't go very high off the ground, so his coverage has got to get down there pretty quick, and that gives those return guys plenty of time to think about what they're going to do before they take off. So Persetti will tee it up again, this time from the 35-yard line. And this one's going to kick deep. It's going to go over the head of Terrence Thomas, and look at that. It's going to be a touchback back to the 20-yard line. So Wetumpka's going to lose 15 yards of field position in that exchange. So such an effective weapon. When you have a kicker, we say this every week here in the Montgomery Sports Network, we see some teams that have kickers, some teams that don't have very good kickers. 
but to be able to put that ball in the end zone and make your opponent go 80 yards every time is just such an effective weapon. We see Montgomery Catholic do that a few weeks ago. Um, it's, it's just something Prattville has it, you know, and obviously Stanley Baumol has it. And you don't see it a lot in high school football. It's hard to find. So empty the backfield back for the moment. Wait for the snap, and here it starts up again just below us. They stay in the pistol set. They're going to flip the formation to the left, though. Duncan, left side. He's going to walk it in. Touchdown, Stano Belmore Mustangs. Trey Duncan from three yards out, and the Mustangs extend their lead. They just well, he's separated. 6.41 left until halftime, and the Stano Belmore now in front, 13 to 6. Dylan Persetti on to attempt the extra point. Smith is the holder for Stano Belmore. snap and spot. Kick is high, has plenty of distance. Hits the fire truck in the background and it's good. And our new score, Stan Hill Belmore 14 with Tumka 6 here on the Extermatech Pest Control Game of the Week. We'll keep it right here for the moment. So first and goal with the 5, a minute and a half left of halftime. Duncan, right side, hit, spit, spins off. He's in the end zone for the touchdown. Trey Duncan for the touchdown for the Mustangs, and they lead it 20 to 6. A big statement score right before halftime for Stan Belmore. And they couldn't have executed that drive any better. They let the clock run down. They get the touchdown. Duncan gets on the board for the second time in this game. He had the big 35-yard carry earlier in the drive. Beautiful execution for Stan Belmore. will come on and attempt the extra point. Duncan scores from five yards out. And it is 20 to 6 in favor of the Mustangs. Smith, the holder. For Stan Hill Belmore. Good snap. Spots down. Kick has plenty of leg. Hits off the tire of the fire truck in the end zone, and it's good. And our new score 118 to the half here at Holmberg Field. It is Stanhope Elmore 21 with Tumka 6. We'll keep it right here as we're getting close to halftime on the Storm Attack Pest Control Game of the Week. Third and about 7. They got to get to the 13. The Mustang offense looks at the sideline for the signal. Play clock still has 12 on it. A field goal does a lot right here in this situation with 9.30 to go in this football game. Ryan has got to put it up. He's looking for Bradford on the corner of the end zone there. Throws it late. Bradford high points the football. He comes down with it for the touchdown. What a throw and catch. What a catch from Bradford. He went up and beat the defender in the jump ball situation. Strong hands. Good, strong throw from Ryan's right there. He really proved me wrong on his own screen. Mustangs. Five yards. Nine and a half minutes left from maintaining first place in Class 6A Region 3. They will host Selma next week. And then they get Opelika at Foshi Henderson Stadium the week after that. Presetti's kick is away. Thomas is going to watch this one sail into the end zone for the touchback as the Indians will start on the 20-yard line. But Stanhill Belmore has not won a region title since 2004. They have not hosted a home playoff game, I believe, since 2010. Well, a win tonight is going to give them that home playoff game. And... They are they're going to be in position to win a region championship in two weeks if, if they can get this not last 9.28 off the clock. But the region championship is going to be on the line two weeks from the night when they face Opelika. There's a low snap, and Rhines takes the knee as the clock hits triple zero. And Stano Belmore remains undefeated with an impressive 28-20 victory over Wetumpka here at Hohenberg Field. We're going to take a quick timeout as the clock hits triple zeros. You're watching the Exterminate Pest Control. Game of the Week here on the Montgomery Sports Network. 